Welcome back to Palma de Mallorca, where we're following the GC32 Racing Tour on their third event of the season, this one at the Copa del Rey. Since these flying catamarans were first developed, they've become more and more desirable for adrenaline-seeking sailors. Uh, I saw the, these cats uh, sailing outside in front of us uh, and uh, foiling and I say, wow, what's going on? This is amazing, this is very fun boat. And it just looks amazingly fast. Well, I think they, they are really extreme and exciting. Now you can see them, how, how fast they are. New generation of uh, multi hulls foiling multi hulls coming and sailing and it's bringing so many new people to sailing. It's really great. The GC32 is a one-design catamaran fitted with a rotating mast and three sails, the main, jib and jenica. However, it's the GC32's foils that are exceptional and allow the boat to get airborne stably in a wide range of conditions. To do this, it has a more versatile foil package with a large main lifting foil. Hi, so uh, the GC32, it's a foiling catamaran, uh, which is very different to many uh, boats that are here at Copa del Rey. Uh, obviously, these fly above the water uh, while sailing. Uh, these are controlled by the foils that make it fly, which effectively are like underwater aeroplane wings. Now, we can't just leave those in the water uh, stationary. We have to trim them all the time, depending on how much wind we get in the sails, because the force that's on those foils in the water changes all the time. This is our uh, board up line. This is what pulls this thing up out of the water. Uh, when we want to drop the board, we have to uh, release this line, and then we pull on this as fast as we can. And if we want it to have make the boat fly, we, we make, make it move back at the top, which makes the bottom have a better angle. This easy foiling makes the GC32s the perfect boat for younger sailors and teams to experience this state-of-the-art, high-performance technology. It's really important that young people start sailing foiling boats because, you know, it's, it's, it's really a boat for young people. You need to be very quick, you need to be very agile and you need to move around fast. So for my legs, like I'm, I'm, I'm the old, old, oldest on the boat and, and you, you can just see that the young guys are fit, they fit in really well in this class and any falling boat. Finally, due to stormy conditions, the races were abandoned for all classes, including the GC32s. The results remain unchanged and the crews all enjoyed the Real Club Nautico de Palma's extensive facilities.